Hello, and welcome to my new Infernal Black Border strategy with a very, very goofy setup. This will be fun. First, we start by placing a boomerang here as high as possible and about as middle in that platform as possible. Once you've placed it, upgrade it to a 011 and set it to last. Last is just most consistent for round 6, we'll be setting it to first immediately after. Before round 8, upgrade your boomerang to a 012 red hot rangs. For round 10, place a sniper as bottom right as possible in this corner and set him to strong. In the middle of round 13, just place Geraldo right over here. No, not, not there, over here. Just shove him as bottom right as possible. And you can set him to strong here if you'd like. Shouldn't be required though. For round 15, upgrade your boomerang to a 022, and then just place a Geraldo spike on each side just to be 100% safe for the next few rounds. Nineteen is a very scary round. I know, very scary. All you have to do, switch your sniper to first to catch this blue, and then just keep it like that for the rest of the round. How terrifying and then just switch him back to strong for round 20. And then get Kylie. Trust me, it doesn't get that close. It, it should not get that close if you put your sniper to strong. Before round 20, I did it in the middle of it, so that could cause some issues. 22 should also be completely fine, so don't worry about it. And the 23 just gets destroyed. For 24, just get shrapnel on your sniper, and set it to first. And now we're just going to upgrade this guy straight to a 024 full auto rifle. you should be able to afford semi-auto at the beginning of 34. In the middle of 38, you should be able to afford the best meme tower in the entire game, the 024 sniper. But it might actually be good, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe Infernal is just that easy. Before round 40, place an alchemist right over here next to your 024 sniper and upgrade it to a 320 when you have the money. At some point in the near future, place a druid right over here as bottom and as central as possible. You want to place it very close to where I did here. Just make sure just make sure you can see the bottom lane. And upgrade it to a 402 ball lightning with heart of vengeance. To start our $75,000 save up, upgrade that Kylie boomerang to a Moab press and make sure to set it to strong. I forgot and I end up doing that later and almost panicked and because I almost died because I didn't do that. So yeah, just do that and you'll be fine. This right here is the spot I panicked and set it to strong. So yeah, make sure you make sure you've done that.
for round 59, make sure to put a camo potion on your ball lightning. 100% required to beat the round. I almost just forgot to do it, and uh, yeah, that would have caused me to die, and I don't want to do that in this run. So, yeah, just make sure you do that or else you'll have a bad time. And watch our crazy 024 sniper absolutely murder round 60. Just watch it do that. For 62, just give a sharpening stone and a pickle to your full auto sniper. And you should just win the round very easily. And by the round, I mean the next many rounds, because you don't have to do anything for a while. So I'll see you when we actually have to do something. Because for some reason 74 is actually kind of hard with the setup, we got to give a camo potion to our druid and a sharpening stone and pickle combo to our sniper. That That's all we have to do. And now our druid can actually hit the bottom lane consistently, which is nice. For 75, we want to place two spooky totems, or creepy idols as they're officially called, right up here, just on this platform over here. And I guess you could place some spikes, but you don't have to. Your setup should be completely fine. The thing that happened for me here is all of the BFBs popped at the exact same time. That doesn't usually happen, usually you'll have just one pop but sometimes you'll have all of them pop at the same time, and it'll look very scary, but you'll be fine. You shouldn't be able to lose. This setup is too OP, trust. Or this map is just too easy, but ignore that. And then for 76, just glue the round. Just just, just put a glue there. That That's all you have to do. It'll look very scary because your sniper might accidentally create a little bit of a regrow farm, and your druid might help with that a little bit. It doesn't usually get this close. You should be fine. 77 gets promptly destroyed because this setup is somewhat decent, I guess. I don't know. We can pretend that 024 Sniper is a good tower, but it kind of isn't. Actually, wait, no, it is. If, if I say it's bad, uh, the entire massive damage community will come after me. Anyway, place a glue on the first wave of ceramics on 78, just so you don't lose. You don't have to do it for the second camo wave, because the sniper has plus one damage to camo, because, or I think it might be plus two, I don't know, plus some extra damage to camo because of the night vision goggles upgrade. I'm not sure why they let it do that, but it's neat, I guess. Like, look at it absolutely murder this ceramic wave. <laughs> Kinda crazy. Ignore the very obvious cut right here. I may or may not have had to, like, leave my computer and do something else for a while. So that's why there's a cut there. I didn't change anything about the setup. All of the towers are still facing in the same direction. No fake early games. Anyways, uh, place a pickle on your sniper for round 79. That should just allow you to beat the round pretty easily, and you'll be able to afford Superstorm right after this BFB pops, or I guess in the middle of it popping. And now, you have Superstorm. The run is basically over. And now, we're just going to Alk buff it with a 301 Alchemist. This will allow it to attack faster, and it'll have more range 
and I guess slightly more pierce and a bit more damage, but that doesn't really matter. Once you've gotten the 301 Alchemist, this is where different runs will start to diverge. You can either play this like it's a serious game and buy extra support, like a Sabotage Ninja and other miscellaneous supports like that, or you can fully commit to the meme strategy and go for the massive damage axis, which is Superstorm and Bloon Crush. I'm not going to explain why it's called massive damage, I think you can tell. Both towers clearly do very massive damage. In this run, I decide to go for the Bloon Crush route and be kinda funny, but if you don't want to, I understand that. Just buy normal supports like a Sabotage Ninja and other things. Or like a whole other tier 5. You could probably do that. But other than buying the Bloon Crush, the actions I do in the 90s should still be applied to most runs because they, they still work, and they still help. On round 90, put a Camo Potion on your Superstorm. This will give it a bit more range and a bit more Camo damage, I guess, because it already has Camo Detection at base. Just, oh yeah, on 91, you can give a Pickle and a Sharpening Stone to your Sniper, but I kinda just wait for a little bit. You don't actually have to do this, it's more just to speed things up, because if you don't, this run will take a few years. I do it here on 92, but you can do it on 91. It doesn't really matter. And then also, just put a spike at the end of each track, just to RNG prevention, I guess. I think that's what they call it. If you decide to go for the Bloon Crush route, 95 is the sketchiest round of the entire run. You will have to place two spooky totems right here. For safety, camel pot your mob press, and then place one glue here, and set your druid to strong. You can also place more glues if you'd like. You shouldn't have to, though. 95 will still look very sketchy, almost regardless of what happens, unless you actually buy support. But if you buy support, that means you're not going the Bloom Crush route, and you are officially uncool. That DDT will be kind of scary, but you should be fine. And then for 96, just set your Superstorm to first. On 97, you can refresh the pickles on your sniper, just to make the round not take about 7 years, because Superstorm really likes to stall. Like, it really likes to stall. <laughs> If you decide to go for the Bloon Crush, you should be able to afford it on round 98. Well, not at the start of round 98, you'll have to get it in the middle of 98. 
and it does in fact help at least a little bit for this round. Which is kind of funny, I guess. Buying a 65k tower and using it as cleanup for about three fortified mobs in an entire run. Kind of funny. At this point, you may be asking, how round 100? How, how is that going to work? Um, double genie is the answer. It's by far the cheapest way to deal with round 100, especially for this. So we're just going to get two genies on 99. And set your alter to first, if you didn't already keep them on first from the early game. Watch your genies and Superstorm absolutely kill 99. And then just watch your genies absolutely kill round 100. <laughs> They'll do a lot of damage to it, and they're easily the cheapest way to deal with this round in any run. Easily Hex or Spike Storm probably being a close second. And never mind, Azili Hex is probably not good. But anyways, you might also want to put a Camo Potion on your Bloon Crush, just to maybe catch a DDT if your massive tornado just misses. And Superstorm should clean up the insides very well. And if you've done everything correctly, and it's not a lot, you should now have your Infernal Black Border with a very, very goofy strategy involving the 024 Sniper, Superstorm, and Bloon Crush. The strat also only has seven towers, which I think is kind of funny. Anyways, have a nice rest of your day. Goodbye.